Covering Duval County and going downtown to City Hall tonight. City Council met tonight on a Wednesday since Tuesday was Election Day. So tonight, Council discussed several notable topics. In a unanimous vote, city leaders voted to update and simplify downtown zoning. The hope is to spur new development by changing the landscape for the builders. Lori Boyer led the effort and was just named to lead the Downtown Investment Authority for the city. That measure passed 18 to 0. I really think it is a major step forward um, to kind of update our downtown zoning overlay, but also to streamline some things. And I hope we're going to see the impacts of that going forward. The Village Center proposal came up for discussion, too. The multi-million dollar project near Town Center would have restaurants and retail, plus an amphitheater and a movie theater. There's an enormous infrastructure need. People living or working in that area worry about congestion and how expansion in an already busy area would change things. I just want to quickly say that we um, heard a uh, neighbor's concern at Planning Commission and we've spoken with them about it. And right now we're working to address their concerns and uh, come up with some kind of agreement to hopefully alleviate um, those issues. Short-term rentals like Airbnbs, that's been a hot topic in Jacksonville for many months. In recent bill by Councilman Jim Love, that's been debated and could be amended. Well, the bill discussed Wednesday night brought out reasons for and against during public comment. I'm in full agreement with the original bill as it was. It was more protective of the actual homeowners, the residents that live near these vacation rentals. These new changes don't protect us at all. I ask that you oppose this bill or any version that does more than seek proper taxation and provide for redress for those who have the unfortunate experience with untoward short-term rental operators. Thank you. One other issue we are watching tonight, Councilman Garrett Dennis introduced an ordinance that would decriminalize marijuana, allowing officers to issue a civil citation for possessing less than 20 grams of pot as opposed to being arrested. Councilman Dennis holds his first noticed meeting on the bill at 10 a.m. tomorrow.